All right, guys, we are back with yet another project. <laughs> doing these, I realize that um, I'm doing too many things at the same time. But anyway, um, right now, I'm working on um, a new SaaS for LinkedIn influencers. Um, I just started this week, actually, because um, I wanted to schedule my posts on LinkedIn um, as I'm trying to grow an audience there uh, around like machine learning and stuff. But there's no uh, cool stuff uh, to do that. Uh, there are plenty of solutions for Twitter, uh, but nothing for, for LinkedIn. So I'm trying to build this. Uh, so let me show you where I'm at with this. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Um, so it's uh, inspired by Typefully, which is uh, the same application but for Twitter. So you get in and you can write drafts, whatever. Uh, here's a tweet. And then you can uh, schedule it here and they have this cool feature where you can just say like into hours and then it's gonna uh, post the tweet automatically in two hours um, and that's pretty much it at least for the the free tier but then you can upgrade uh, to get much more like uh, analytics auto retweet um, and uh, stuff like that which is pretty cool but uh, nothing for for LinkedIn. So that's what we are going to do. Um, so here's what it looks like. And this is the landing page. Um, and this is cool because it lets you see what you would get once you, once you sign up. And if you were to sign up, this is what it would look like. Um, so basically, you have three sections your drafts, the scheduled posts, and the published ones. Uh, so later on, you could see like uh, analytics uh, on, on each of your, of your posts. So let's say you're here on your draft and you can start, start typing a new post for LinkedIn. And the idea is that uh, you click here and you schedule it, or you just publish it right away. If you if if you if it's your thing, like maybe you want to uh, track it here. So as you can see right now, uh, pretty much have nothing, just the UI and uh, LinkedIn authentication. So if we go to API auth slash sign in, this will redirect to LinkedIn, and then I can sign up. Sign in, and all good. So I'm signed in, uh, but you can't see it right now. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into work because we have a lot of things to do today. Uh, I want to start off with um, using the LinkedIn API to share posts. So there's this share API uh, that lets you do just that. I think it's the post shares. Um, and then once we've done that, we'll look at like uh, authentication. So like fixing the redirect and also keeping sessions live. Cause right now, if I just reload the page, I've lost uh, my authentication state. So I'm gonna have to uh, take care of that and then if we have time, uh, we'll try to set up the database uh, to persist the data. And that's pretty much it. So let's get on to it. So how does it work?
what is this code right here? ID. Okay, let's see if they have the IDs here. Oh, you know what I'm not doing? Um, yeah, let's, let's take some notes. We're going to build a... Let, let's do it directly in the AP. I don't know. Let, let's create schema definition. Okay, why not? Components editor, all right. Scheduled solvers, okay. So let's create a helpers folder. Also, we're going to have a utils. And they should be here. Yeah, cool. So um, let's call it a LinkedIn share, maybe. But yes, so what we're going to need to do is one um, retrieve users. ID because we need to say something like this so yoran ali person and uh, their I've been consistently changing laptops between a Mac and a, a Windows laptop so I'm I'm, I'm a bit lost. Uh, okay. Then we need to say post request to uh, this thing. And uh, three body is we need to put the body as this weird thing. We need the owner. We need owner plus no agent, no text of the share. If content is empty, referenced content such as article and images. If you look at uh, content, content entities, entity location, title, text. Let's just do text for now. Is this an example? Yeah. Distribution. What is distribution? Oh, okay. Okay. So we need uh, text plus distribution okay share text and mentions for now we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna support mentions and hashtags and whatever I mean hashtags are probably automatic but not to mentions I guess we need to yeah give a yeah this stuff so let's not do this for now schema text annotations yeah basically okay okay okay, okay. i don't like their naming convention like a share is a post post shares why, why, why is it not a post and then you have weird stuff like 
share a re reshare a share or whatever like what the hell doesn't make it, yeah reshare shares dude why and okay uh do i need anything else required Reshared share. No, share being shared. We're not uh, doing this yet. Required resharing, not allowed otherwise. Original share. What? Reshared share. Share being reshared. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. Like, what is the difference between reshared share and original share? This is weird. Anyway, so this is going to look like this. Uh, now, the thing is, should I keep their same messed up convention or change it? Because <clears throat> I could do something like this. Uh, post LinkedIn share. Right. And uh, basically, I would do oops, oops, this um, const fetch uh, with this and uh, method post headers. I guess I need the headers, right? Probably uh, like authorization. I think it's something like uh, error, and here it's going to be access token. Uh, it's going to come from here. Mm. Okay, export. Let's, let's put it here. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Response. What else? What else? Content type. Application. JSON. And the body is going to be something like um, so we said we are going to need the owner, which is uh, Yoran. Ali person and um, UI should I call it UID? Yeah, let's do that. UID, uh, it's a string as well. And then I guess a text. text text and distribution okay so how does it work share distribution target oh, no. visible to guest false okay LinkedIn distribution targets it's not right like this and then I think you can just pass an empty object if you just want to 
both shares. Right, yeah, just a empty object means empty means visible to anyone. And then uh, const data, what is returned? Response success the newly created share is identified in a header in the response body C share response body fields. Okay, this is the response. Um, so this is the content, I guess we don't care. The distribution, we don't care. Edited, false, ID. Is this the same ID? Nope, of course not. Owner, subject, what is ID? Let's see. ID, unique ID for the share. And what is activity? You are in of the activity associated with this share. This value is not present for video shares. And what's the point of that? Guaranteed in response, no, what the hell? So I guess we just need the ID. Uh, so let's get ID. By the way, we need to handle errors here. So if status is if different than 200, console.log. Uh, response dot status text and uh, throw error status text otherwise we can get the ID and the activity and uh, that's pretty much all we need response await response dot json and I guess we can return these For now. Alright, so that's it. Now, um, in order to do so, to, to test this function, I guess we're gonna need to uh, set up some Yeah, I think what we're gonna need to do is create the sessions. So I, I wrote a, a bit of code here for how to do that. So let's do just this. So basically, uh, the problem here is that I'm gonna need the access token and the UID of the user, but because I'm not saving them after they sign up with LinkedIn, I don't have access to these and therefore I can't do anything. I mean, I could, right? Let's try actually um, in callback here. This is where I have access to these things. I should do this as a function. Const build authorization. URI it takes a code type string and it does this Um, do we need anything else? Nope, it's good. So I can come here and say authorization, you're right. Uh, yeah. Const authorization, no, sorry, build authorization, you're right with the code. And I need to specify it like this. All right, cool. Actually, let's not, let's just do that, okay? And let's return href here. Voila. Uh, so what I wanna do is here, so I'm not only, 
am I gonna say the access token but uh, I want to retrieve user profile user, yeah just like just that um, so how can I do that um, shares page management authentication yes generate an access token so i've got the access token uh, i don't think they are mentioning like how you can what is this oh no it was number i think okay not telling me integrations how do I get my user profile integration overview okay getting started Profile API, of course. Where is it? Integration people guide. Okay. Uh, you must use an access token to make an authenticated call. Yes. Permissions. R light profile. R light. Do I have basic profile when I set it up? I don't think so. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Build uh, redirect URI. I don't need to build it actually. But Let's keep it like this. Um, I'm saying our light profile. What is the strongest one? Is it light profile or basic profile? Uh, apparently, the basic profile is better yeah so let's change it to basic profile and uh cool and so you can just call it call this api dot me uh, so let's try that uh, okay copy Uh, headers authorization bearer access token and uh, content okay I guess I already used the response nope I didn't uh, Say await um, profile await response to JSON. Cool. 
Oh yeah. Um. Of course. And then console.log profile. All right. Um, and this is where I'm going to try this. Uh, so basically, I'm going to say LinkedIn, post LinkedIn share of uh, going to take an access token. It's going to take a UID. UID is ID and uh, the final one is text. This is a test. Cool. Uh, and ID is going to be profile.id. Cool. Let's try that and I'm not going to uh, sign in with oh and we need to await that and it's going to return us a an id an activity okay so i can say id as post id and activity and then we can console that like this Cool. But let's comment this for now. And let's try to Okay. Why is that? Oh yes, I've changed this, but I might not be authorized to do that. So let's see. My apps. Okay. Um, so if I go to auth, I'm not allowed for basic profile, I think. Yes. Uh, but can I ask it? Share on LinkedIn? Yeah. Sign in with LinkedIn, yeah. So why am I not allowed? Okay, anyway. So let's change this to uh, light profile, I guess. And try it again, local host. API auth sign in. Cool. Now I don't want to use my real account. So let's connect with this account instead. Uh, let's see if I remember the password. Yes, I do. Yeah, why not? Uh, Use my name, primary email, yeah. Do that. Cool. What do we got? We got a profile with localized last name. What is that? Profile picture, display name, display image. What is that? Gosh, that's awful. Uh, but we got the ID. What is display image? How do I get the image from that? <laughs> Member rich content API, okay. Like what? 
What is this? It's a digital media asset. Um, do we have digital media asset URN? Okay, cool. Member rich content schema. Oh. How do you get that? There was a get. Yep. Hmm. I guess there's an assets API, right? about these things for now uh, let's just try to boost this text and see if it works um, let's see I got a LinkedIn and I sign in with this account skip for now and if I go to my uh, not this Control, uh, activity, where is the activity? Okay, show all activity. All right, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna uncomment these. And let's try this again. API auth sign in. LinkedIn share, okay. Through an error. What is the error? Let's see. Server error. What? Hmm. What do you mean? Looks good though. Um, is it because of that? Okay, one thing I'm gonna do is remove this console.log here. Uh, there's a compiling error, client and server. Hmm. Do you think it's because I'm Client and server? What do you mean? Bad request. Okay. So this is a bad request. All right, cool. Let's see why. I'll go to the share API. Um, go back up here. You will need the permission. Yes, I do have it. Bad request. So it's just that I'm missing something here. The owner, I said URN, L-E-L-I, per 
person UID. That's cool. Then text. Have text. Text that I'm passing here. So that should be all right. And then we have distribution, LinkedIn distribution target. Maybe I have misspelled this one. Nope. Um, and then a empty object. I guess this is because no. Share distribution target, specify a shares audience and reach. For example, a share may be limited to only connections with the owner in specific locations. So nothing is required, right? So I can just, due to changing the UI experience, the visible to guest field is now always set to true for all shares. We recommend using the connections only field to control visibility of personal shares and using targeting face assets to control visibility of organization shares for backward compatibility starting January 2019. Setting visible to cast to false and personal shares will result in setting connections only to true. Staff count range. Well, um, connections only. Let's try that, okay? How about if I say true? Let's see. Is this going to work now? Bad request, okay? Is this the access token? Is this. I don't know what it is. Um, let's log this to see what is going on. Okay. Um, and here I'm going to say error. And uh, okay. Okay, at this point, I'm not even doing it right. Uh, allow. Okay. Hmm. This error has been generating any console log arms will be displaying. Async handler. Oh, I think I know why. No, actually, I don't. Let me see. This is an async handler. I'm throwing an error on this stuff. Is it because I'm not? Why though? I don't understand. Maybe it's too fast. How about if I just bring this on the same page? right here and I say that is this going to work better like this bad request okay okay so we have everything unprocessable entity what do you mean Uh, 
error. Unprocessable and oh, okay. Unprocessable entity. What do you mean unprocessable entity? Entity monitoring error handling. Okay. In the event that a field of activity is unable to be processed, we will still return the activity such that you are notified when an activity has occurred. This is not about it's not about LinkedIn. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh, I think I might know what is going on. How do I get this? Uh, post share post shares and uh, if you look at the CURL content type oh no it's okay application JSON data content text let's try this actually okay um, let's give exactly that here of the owner okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this distribution I'm gonna move it I'm just gonna take that and put it in here for owner. And uh, owner looked good, right? Like UID, I get this. So I guess the owner looks right. Okay. So how about how about that? Fetch. It's a post request. Yep. It's v2 slash shares. API LinkedIn, yeah, authorization, bearer, access token, content type, application JSON. That's all good. Is this still running? Yeah. Um, cool. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that. Created? What do you mean? Created? What the hell? Hmm. So this is still an error. Oh, this is not a 200. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is a 201, not a 200. So this is a test worked actually, okay. All right, so I'm gonna say test share with content. Okay, 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 okay. So I get, let's, let's look at this. 
the share API is going to return post shares. Uh, what is the response for that? The response is an ID and a URN. That's okay. What's the header? Share response body field. Common creation error. Uh, delete shares. No. Two of one. Yeah, that's it. So I guess what I should be doing is here to one, not to oh oh. Cool. So these worked actually. So let's remove that from here. My function did work. So let's uncomment this. Let's try it again with a uh, hello world. Okay, how about this? Let's see if we are going to get it this time. Nope. And did it work here? Nope. Okay. I'm confused now. Unauthorized. What? What do you mean? Unauthorized. Signing in. Authorization. Yes, that's it. And if you check this out, you would have the uh, oof. Why, why is that unauthorized? I have a weird mix of activity and ID here. But anyway, so we got our activity. Uh, now let's clean this up a little bit and remove this from here. Oosh. So we have our uh, little function here. Now let's come to here and remove this because we don't want to do that on uh, mode. But here, what I need to do is um, save the profile in session plus database. So let's do just that right now. Okay. But before that, a quick break.
All right, so we are back. So let's see, let's recap. Um, so we got this going, right? Uh, create a migration. So we created a service to do that. Now we are gonna have to create a graph. No, there's no. Actually, there is called by uh, clone service. So we're gonna need to create a migration to do that. But this is gonna this is gonna happen later on. For now, we need to manage the state with Iron Session. So let's check how it works. I think I can just uh, npm install yarn of oh, they mixed the two. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Plus npm install iron session. Um, then I'm gonna build my own. Uh, Hire all the functions. Let's let's see. Um, ch -ch -ch here, let's see. If there's some types around session. Nope, no thing. Which one am I? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go to. Utils, I'm going to create auth.ts. I'm basically going to put this. Okay, uh, I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to get these things with Iron Session API route. They are two stuff. There's this one, and then there's uh, with Iron session API route. And now, oops, hate when it does that. Uh, const a with off API. I'm gonna export this. Um, it's not just going to return a okay this and this session API route basically that's nope, not here here nope um here that's right and then this uh of options and off options is exported just in case um, cookie name this is uh, process stuff and And uh, password. And this cookie secure true should be used in productions but can't be used in development. I don't remember doing this before, but let's do it anyway. Uh, cool. Sounds great. Now, handler. Is gonna be a next API handler. Of course, it does not exist. Oops. How about if I do this? Expires 
at oh, it works right. Um, that's annoying. With TypeScript, okay. With arm in session, oh, and then you can extend the type of session. P extends key string unknown keys. Uh, this is a bit dis So you just create the same thing, but you give it this. What? I'm confused. This is the uh, SSR one with off public, or should I say SSR or public? Let's do SSR. And the SSR one is taking, yeah. Export async function get server side props. So it's a handler. This one is a next or a get server side props. Um, and then with iron session. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work like this. I'm missing something here. Like that. Cool. An argument with options, path options like this. Okay. Okay. Um. Probably gonna have a function here as well uh, that does <laughs> this exactly. But I'm gonna call return sign in. Oops. Sign in. Or uh, authenticate or sign in. Let's, let's call it sign in, sign in with LinkedIn. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, oops. From uh, util slash off like this. And here I'm gonna say export const this. This is a function. All right. Okay, now it works. And I can do that. And uh, I guess it takes res, right? At least. Let's take res next. API quest. Uh, next and next API response. 
like this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm returning this. And here, what I say is that, okay, cool. Regres, and this is with one day. What is this any? Mm. Okay, so it tells me that Argon type next API request, next API response, and it gives. Oh, um, what is it now? It's not assignable to parameter of type next API. Okay, because I'm returning res here. I need to say return res dot end something like this. What and then return like that. Type next API handler and define is not assignable to type void. Promise void. Do you want me to say void or what? Let's start and what the hell? Uh, this is a handler, right? Yeah. I should be able to see return res. So, oh, like this, like this, right? What have I done here? Take a handler, pass it through the higher order function that does either return this handler or this one. That sounds good to me. The problem though is that instead if I return I shouldn't return a next API response. This is return a next API response, right? Um, how about if I do this? All right, cool. Yep, that, work, that seems to be working. Now, if there's only this problem, Any. I'm good with that. This is what's annoying with TypeScript. Always run into these annoying bugs. Server response. All right, all right. 
uh, how do you do a rest.redirect redirect in SSR? Uh, created web search details with public auth. Okay. Yeah, same, same, same. Okay, this is how you do it. Basically, um, maybe I should just. So, this is how it should work if you want to return here. You want to return to trigger the authentication so you can say API auth sign in. Is this going to be a 302? Yes, this is good. And here, by the way, I'm going to need to say as dot end, right? And return. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, now. This is annoying because return handler, handler with these. The handler is a get sell side props that takes a set of arguments. But here, argument applied a coming message. Oh, that's one. Is not assignable the parameter, I guess. So let's just say any for now. And now I need to fix this. So with iron session unknown key string. Okay. So I should be able to say something like this user any like that. Nope. Same thing here. Rec is now this. So what do we have? A URL. Or href URL. Uh, so this didn't work. <clears throat> but no, it doesn't work like that, apparently. These types are compatible with infraget static props type. What do you do? You do this. P extends that. Meeting handler. Meeting with iron session handler. I think that's what I need to do, but so basically you can extend P. I guess P here is an extension of these reg and res so that you can say that you get some side prop. No, I don't know actually. Any. Yeah, let's just do this, this for now. And uh, we'll try to fix it later on. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Cool. So we got our thing set up so that. Yeah, here I'm going to have stuff like this. <laughs> Cool, that's clean. Uh, now in callback, I'm gonna have to say with API, with auth API like this. And why the fuck are you here, I think? 
Let's dot end and turn. Yeah, that's downside of all that loop. Why? Oh, here. Returning a response to undefined now. Okay, cool. Great. Oh, no, actually, I can be. Return this and uh, what else? So I think I can do this. This is okay. This is okay. I think this is the problem. This is so annoying. Hate it. I want to say return that. Why are you? What is res dot and returning? This is returning a response. Now it tells me type response is not assignable to type promise. I never return anything promise. It's here. Gosh. this okay cool uh, okay so now what I need to do and again this cannot work anymore unless I can do this any nope so this is gonna be an any so that I can come here and say rec dot session dot how does it work apparently now I'm able to say yeah it's here reg dot session dot user equal this with access token UID is going to be profile ID. Uh, what else? And uh, just profile in general, I guess. Like that. Cool. Do we have that? Now, if I come back to the index page. What I want to do here is say with uh, of SSR of that thing, and that's pretty much it, right? I just want to say with of SSR actually, like this. I don't need to do much more. Let's try. I don't know 
like I'm gonna have to let's restart the server and see what it does. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna have to change my password. Not gonna show it to you. Uh, my session secret has to be longer. Cool. So we are back. Let's try it again. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart my server. read properties of undefined uh, yeah of course what did I do here off uh, so here I first need to check if it exists so I guess what I really need to do is that I'm not doing this any yet. Actually, what I do need to do is here redirect to home page, but here if it expires at this, and here I'm gonna have to say new date. Yes, is no. so what I really need to say here is the expiration time minus date dot now is less than uh, like, I don't know, 24 hours. Like that. Um, then you trigger an authentication. That's cool. And here I should uh, pass, but yeah, whatever. And if reg.session.user and uh, I want to say console.log URL reg dot URL and otherwise it's all good and you can return the user reg the session the user cool that looks good to me right yeah what is going on I clearing your cookies. Oh, I think I have a no. Um, yeah, too many redirects. Oh, yeah, it's written here. Because what I need to do is Yeah, but why are you not? Uh, yeah, but if I go here, drafts one. Yeah, it works. Mm. But if I wasn't, oh yeah, but I'm not using it yet. So here, what I need to do is with auth SSR. user
Hey, like dot user dots. Yeah, I know. Let's not do anything yet. Uh, this is drafts. Okay, so if I do this, too many redirects. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What is going on? Oh, I think I know why. If there's no user, I redirect to the home page. But if you're on the home page and there's no user, well, you redirect to the home page. And that is a problem because I need to do this first. So let's see. I need to do this first. Okay. Oh, great. That works actually. Click.url is what I was expecting. Uh, so I'm going to do this and here. Let's do this. Well, I'm just going to say return uh, props. Hmm. What am I doing right now? Oh, no. Okay. No. What I want to do really is this. Oops. I want to uh, redirect you to drafts one. But if there's no user, I want to redirect you here. And reg.url is different than this. But if reg, there's no reg session user and this is not equal to that, and I, then I, I don't care. Let's see if it works now. Yes, uh, that is true. Reason and cannot be serialized. Hmm. In which case am I? Am I here? No, I'm not. Cool. That's actually I don't want to return oh yeah here I do uh, so I guess I'm here I I'm not where I'm at then What? Okay, let's let's take a second to understand what is going on. Uh, console.log, if I said right URL, it said that this is indeed this. And my session is empty. So this is a frag.session.user. This is undefined. So nope. This is true. And this is. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so basically, what I need to do is come back to this index file and just say uh, say this, right? Basically, yeah. Okay. Let's remove that. No, I want to see if, how about if I say like pricing, whatever, is this going to mess it up? Nope. 
or if I say like uh, UTM campaign equal uh, product hunt okay so it's gonna redirect of yeah not really cool um, but yeah let's I'm on board with that for now at least <clears throat> so if I do however sign in I should be redirected properly so let's see if it happens nope because I haven't meant okay it's gonna happen don't worry uh, I have this expires in I'm gonna define here expires at expires at yeah this is gonna be new date plus a new date of date dot now plus expires in how about that and I need an sign out which is going to have with API off like this of course it's complaining I need to do this no this is okay I think Let's see. I think this is the problem right Okay, um, here I need to say reg.session.destroy, this is, session.destroy, yeah, I can just say that, I think. And it's all good, but here I need to say await rec dot session dot save like that. Uh, let's see what is going to happen now if I say sign out. Oh, there's still this problem of with uh, auth. Actually, I'm still having the same problem in here. I need to say rec dot session dot expires at and this. And it's minus new date is less than 24 times 360 times 1000. Cool. Sounds good, yeah. All right, API auth sign in. Nice, everything went well. Um, cool. I think we have it, and if I come here, I get redirected, that's all good. All right, so I'm going to delete this. Um, we've set it up dynamically set navigation item active based on the location. Yes, we've redirected based on the authentication state. Now Let's see if we can uh, set up Prisma very quickly. Or uh, first, actually, let's commit these changes. What have we done? Uh, 
let's first say this, okay? Uh, we've added this authentication states. Uh, on callback, I've been uh, refactoring this bit and I saved the state, so that's all good. In sign in, what have we done in sign in? Again, uh, refactored this a little bit. And sign out, cool. And here as well, we are in, oops, no, cancel, add um, in this end right away. Let's add it everywhere. So in published, let's say it here. So with auth SSR, and here as well. Cool. I'm just saying sparkles it add uh, of the state of exist session of the session and uh, let's push that. Let's create uh, cool. Now, what we could try to do is I have a draft here. Yeah, no. Okay. What we said is yeah, set up Prisma. So let's see if we can set it up very quickly. Prisma next yes. Uh, getting started with Prisma, quick start. Add to an existing project with a relational, a relational database. So first we install Prisma, we say npx Prisma. You can now invoke, yeah, but I want to init this. Okay, uh, init, cool. So what it did is Let's close this. It created this folder Prisma uh, pre filled with some data and uh, generator of the client. Okay, this is what we're interested in. So, what I want to do is I don't know if I'm able to do this. But uh, what I would like to do is say SQLite and for env, I want to say file um, dev.db. I think this is doable. And then model user and model uh, share. Let's keep the same. I don't know. Let's call it a post. Um, I have an ID. Oops, no, like this. Int. Oh, yeah. Uh, add unique. I can't remember again. Um, how do I do this usually? 
they say unique id default auto increment yes that's it like this um here as well okay then you have the uh, linkedin let's call it uid and this is also unique okay and uh, what else do we have usually we should have uh, this right and an email as well ideally created at uh, this should be created at should be this let's get these two right there uh, and that's pretty much it for now and for the post I don't know I guess we can have a post ID or a LinkedIn ID or activity how about activity ID and say it's a string it only if it's published so I'm gonna say published at it's gonna be date time default uh, no created at and uh, updated at I guess we're gonna have some content string that's the content of the draft that's not the content as defined by the share API whatever uh, I think that oh yeah we're gonna need the access token as well Do we really want to save these in the database? Yes, we do. Uh, because when we are going to schedule a post, uh, we're going to call the LinkedIn API at a different time from a different... Like I, We're not going to use the uh, user session. We're going to do this server side without the user's session. And so we need to get the access token from the database. So we do want this. Um, and yeah, there's always gonna be an access token. If we created the user, we don't need the expires at, I guess, because that will be in the uh, such. Yeah, actually let's put it here. Uh, as a date time uh, so that we can come here to the helpers function and say a new file db.ts actually let's put it in utils because it's not um, specific to this project I always have that like this Prisma client. So I'm going to need to install Prisma client npm install Prisma client. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Global Prisma. Okay. All right, sounds good. Uh, and then can I say, um, I need a, a seed script like seed.js uh, where what I wanna do here is 
basically that. So I want to say import Prisma oops, from utils. Or you know what? What I want to do is this. And then I want to do new Prisma client. I'm going to say const prisma this, and then I want to say prisma dot uh, no, I don't need this actually. Delete that's yes, move to recycle. And then I want to say prisma uh, db push. That's what I want to do. Cool, it worked. Uh, and it generated the prisma client. That's cool. So we've set this up. Push the DB. Let's let's create these entities. So what I want to do is that because I'm going to use GraphQL, uh, it's going to be a lot of code specific to GraphQL and Prisma and whatnot, and I don't like that. So to have a cleaner code. On architecture, I'm going to create these entities, user, and uh, this is basically a class user with a constructor. Um, and basically, let's see, class TypeScript. Oops. Yeah, okay, so. The way it's going to work is that I have the uh, ID, I have UID, let's see, string, uh, we said email, string. It's a bit redundant, but yeah, we'll see if it helps. Constructor is going to be this. So what I'm imagining is something like that async get by id and i want this to be a static function for that it's just going to take an id and basically here i'm going to say import prisma from add utils db why is that Okay. Await prisma dot user what dot find uh, I think it's unique. Where ID like that. Oh yeah, you're right. And then I'm gonna say if no user, oops, then uh, throw error not found, otherwise return user. Uh, is that it or? Here I'm gonna say uh, props constructor props actually that's that's what I'm gonna do uh, this is not gonna be static actually that is gonna be static but basically this thing is gonna be equal to different stuff. Uh, it's either going to be an ID or uh, a, uh, a set of new, like a 
if I were to create a new user in the database, I would have these things. So UID, access token, uh, expires at, etc. Right, and so if props dot id yeah, that's the whole point. Can I say that? Uh, so if props dot id, then I'm gonna say uh, this dot get by id wait user dot get by id props dot id. can't do that dot then uh, res, uh. okay I need to say try no. user and uh, I'm gonna say this dot id equal user this dot uid equal oops I don't know if it's a good idea to do that actually. So let's see. All right. And then else. Uh, I'm going to say the same thing, but coming from props and I won't have an ID Oops. Um, okay <laughs> why is it complaining Well, it is here. Does not exist on type constructor props. It does, look. Like, I would have to do this to make it work. Uh, type load or type create or new. And then here I would have to say something like uh, type equal load. And then it will work, right? I don't want to do that. That's lame. Hmm. Or what I could do. Uh, 
Or maybe if I say props.id is equal to undefined, Okay, now it works. But these are not have no initializer. They do. What are you talking about? And here we'd have to say export. And then the idea is that here you say async save. And uh, it would say await prisma dot user dot upsert, you know, and it would do something like that, like where id this dot id, and then data or create not data or it's upsert. And then this would be like uh, UID, this dot UID, etc. Um, that's that's too much. Uh, so let's not spend too much much more time on that. I don't really care. Um, now let's look at these. Uh, well, we've been there for two hours now, so let's stop it now. But uh, what we want to do next is come here in our schema definition. And we're gonna define these uh, as real stuff like UID. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be an int. Here it's gonna be a string. Uh, email uh, picture. Why not? Um, access token. expires at a date and uh, that's pretty much it and then type post again int um, activity id how did i call it here yeah um it's going to be string published at it's gonna be date created at it's going to be a date and updated at as well. All right, and content, of course, this is going to be a string. Could be null if it's empty. Now uh, we can have me, which returns a user. We can have add draft, uh, which takes a set of inputs, or just nothing, and it returns a post. Um, always, oh, it could be no. This could be not. No, no, not no, no, not no, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's think for a bit. Yeah, when we're gonna send a post request to create this, and then it is gonna redirect us. Yeah, yeah, all right, why not? Publish. 
post. Uh, here it might be my create post, not add a draft. Publish post, it's going to return us a post. Delete post, which we are not going to implement for now. Uh, right, that sounds good. And then we're going to come here in our resolvers to say something like user post. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But here I'm going to have posts, post. And here I'm going to have a uh, author. It's going to be a user. Uh, always. OK. So posts, I'm just going to say parent. Actually, no, I'm going to say it's going to come from the user. So I'm going to have the ID here. Say any, hold on. Oh yeah, because it's gonna be like that. Uh, args, any, and uh, context, any as well. But basically here, I'm gonna say return those, so I'm gonna say like return All right. Um, and then post. I'm going to have to say author. The same way. I have the post ID so I can retrieve the author. Actually, no. Um, I'm going to say user ID. Works any and then context any all right and return uh, post author here I'm gonna have me and I guess what I want to return is uh, heck dot okay no. context dot oops session dot user or something like this. Can I do that? Context, yes. I have this context here. Where I can pass stuff. The Apollo server is okay. Uh, let's let's see if Oops. Uh, Apollo server pass request in context. That's dope, okay. So I'm gonna go to utils and add that. Uh, new file, context.ts, like so. Uh, import, let's import the stuff. Import Prisma client that like that, and this is client and Prisma uh, request headers authorization string exactly connection context 
what would you do so, to my stuff? I just want this actually. I just need that. Uh, that's weird. Oh yeah, no, that's not. And then you return Prisma. And then you need to say import Prisma. Pub sub nope and rec this and so I can come here to GraphQL and say import oof this is not good. Context from ETL slash context. Oh, create context. Okay. And then here it's going to be create context. Oh yeah, I could have seen it here. Uh, it can be context function. Okay, that should work now. And now what is cool about that is that I come here and I can say import context from UTL's context and put it here. to find never used it's basically or yeah because I need to say dot heck dot session it's not exist of course uh, let's define it here so I don't need only this rec dot headers and session it's going to be any. No, expires at. Uh, I could have a user like that. All right. I can do this. Cool. Uh, posts. So here what I can do is return context dot prisma dot uh, posts dot find all why is it not working? Oh, I think I need to uh, context. Let's keep it like that. Okay. That's all right. Find all where ID, uh, where uh, no author ID, user ID. Okay, so in schema, I actually need to add that here uh, user ID. And by the way, it makes me think. of that part. If you want to connect two models, you need to do this. You need to say 
yeah, something like this. So if you're in the model, I'm gonna need to add uh, posts, post like that. And then in the issues here, you need to say something like this. So you come here and say that, but this is a user ID user ID reference so this and this is going to be a map to user ID cool so I can here return await context dot prisma dot user dot find unique where id is user id and also i need to make sure that if rec dot oops session dot user Basically, uh, I want to make sure Yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right Cool, uh, and I can even say something like, you know, I'm gonna keep it like that And then you have like uh, create post set get function um, and publish post function as well uh, and this is gonna return nothing for now cool all right that is it for today uh, we'll see if we can tune in uh, over the weekend and hopefully 